Mac. Send me a request, Mac. What up, Michelle? What's, What's up? Chilling. Chilling, chilling, chilling. Okay, so real quick, I know you're busy. Um, it's so interesting that you sent me that text message, right? Right. Because a lot of I, it was a long day. I was busy, and um, I wasn't able to go online and really even look into anything. So mm -hmm. when you sent me that message, I said, "What?" could you know why are you talking about i didn't even hit you and even now i haven't asked you like who you spoke to and what you spoke to them about behind the scenes but i wanted to tell you something because i just thought it was interesting um and barbs hurry up mother don't have a lot of time for my babies today so actually y'all i'm in um i'm in the studio working on something really exciting yeah i'm gonna talk to you about it mac when we get off all right um yeah i'm waiting for a few more people to log on y'all let everybody know on twitter because they always say instagram don't alert them um okay now if you do not well if you if you're a nikki fan you know who mac main is um but for people who do not know who Mac May is. Mac, tell them who you are. At what company? Uh, president of Young Money, and uh, okay. I'm Nikki Big Brother. You hear me? Believe that. President of Young Money. You know, y'all already y'all already know Young Money said that for me. What? So, um, I always say y'all that I love Mac because he's always been like the same, no matter what the fuck was going on in my life like when I didn't have a dollar to my name he always was trying to help me and he was just always like humble and sweet anyway so Mac texted me and it was funny because this is the same thing that happened last time when something was going on the internet and I didn't know what the hell was going on and I said uh uh Mac done texted me I need to address this craziness and me and Tate was over there laughing and so okay so you guys look at listen to this Matt texted me saying, I'm glad that it seems like the Grammys rectified the issue, Nick. And so I'm like, what is he talking about? I go on, the, on one of the blogs and I see that this blog posted an article. The article has been out for a couple of days now, y'all. So you could tell that the Grammys want to make sure that the top urban blogs report on this particular article. Why do you ask? Well, I'll tell you. Um, so if no one knows about this article, then they feel like, uh oh, are people going to say we're shady? We didn't handle this situation. They know that they should have at least given a response. So what they did was they put out an article stating something that me and the whole label already knew, stating something that had absolutely nothing to do with what I spoke about. And it's, oh, it's Nunu. Nunu, I want to, when Matt get off, I want to um, speak to you, Nunu. Um, Nunu Nels. They stated, yo, this is the, if this ain't gaslighting, I don't know what is. And so all the intelligent uh, women out there, like anybody that studies these kinds of things, psychology or anything like this, I would love to speak to you tonight. If this is not gaslighting, I don't know what is. Somebody comes to you and speaks to you about a specific thing, a specific thing where they felt they were treated unfairly. Now, imagine this is your job. Imagine, and, and if you have a nine to five, if you own your own business, whatever it is, this could be you. This could be your daughter. So just imagine, instead of addressing, and Khalil, you stay there too. Instead of addressing what 
d get to the point. Get off my dick. Get off my life. Who the fuck? <laughs> And that's the problem. Why the fuck y'all always worried about me if you not like like I'm on a fucking time fucking limit to tell you what the fuck I gotta tell you. Yeah. Stupid ass the fuck off my life. <laughs> <laughs> I talk your shit, pop your shit. Yeah. yeah, like go away. The same people that pretend they don't care about me is always on my yeah, so, so anyway, so now I'm gonna start the fuck back over. <laughs> <laughs> so look if I come to you and say hey Mac yesterday I didn't think it was fair that you poked me with your pink pen and you said well you know what else I did I also tickled you with my black pen <laughs> so you should be happy that i tickled you with my black pen okay here's what's going on with the internet and they're able to do this to us oh hi the loser teacher i would love to talk to you too i know you're very smart they do it to us because they know and when i say us I'm not saying black. I'm not even going to say black anymore because that's also an issue. If you're a black woman and you say black, that's an issue now too. They do it to us, meaning people who are on social media a lot. Um, we've lost our attention span. So for the most part, they know when they put out a long article, they know people aren't going to read it. They know people are going to read like the headline and get the gist of it and keep it the fuck moving. Now, it's interesting because I hear women talking about gaslighting all day and all night on TikTok. But when they can clearly see a woman being gaslit by a huge company or corporation and using their minions in the industry, not just a woman, a woman who's been working hard since the day you met me, Mac, goes hard. 1,000%. Never asked for a handout, never asked for anything that I didn't deserve, right? So the Grammys had Variety put out an article saying that Nicki Minaj is actually in tons of rap categories, or she has, she has tons of possible nominations in rap categories. So when I went on that blog after you sent that text, it already has like 100,000 likes of just people probably liking it to show support, thinking, oh, wow, word, like Nick got, you know, like they, they, they fixed the shit up and, you know, they did right by Nikki. But they didn't. They put out an article stating something that we already knew, stating something that the whole label already knew, only to gaslight my fans and other people in the industry into thinking that they fixed something they didn't fix. I gave that analogy about the pink and the black pen. If I tickled you with my black pen and poked you with my motherfucking pink pen and you ain't like me poking you with, your, with my pink pen, I'm supposed to address that. Not say, well, I did something else that was nice. No, I want you to address what you did, but I spoke one. So here is the brrr, last time. And I swear I did not want to talk about this again, but they are purposely doing things like this to gaslight and make me look crazy. And I want everyone to show this, these kinds of things to their daughters so that you know what type of things to look out for in the work in the work world, anything you do in life. Listen to the words they use whenever they know you're right, but they can't justify their wrong actions. Listen to the kinds of words you will always have to hear for the rest of your life. Crazy, mad, old. Think about this. Dear Grammys, 
and everybody, my fans know, I am already the best. I don't need a Grammy. This was a specific question I asked for a specific reason, and y'all know that. Yet so many Black women are purposely missing the point. Um, so here's the point. The point is, I do not care about winning a Grammy. I care about the fact that the Grammys took super freaky girl that just broke another record today for staying in the top 10 since its debut on the Billboard Hot 100. Oh, it actually beat Anaconda record, um, Mac. So this week it right. beat... Yep, it'd be Anaconda's rocket, right? That's for you and the ball. Say, Nick, men lie, women lie, numbers don't. <laughs> Never forget that. Never will. So, but listen to this, Mackie. Instead of the Grammys coming out and simply saying, we're not going to change our decision because we honestly don't give a fuck. They said, well, we're not going to respond to why we moved Super Freaky Girl into a pop category. We're just gonna tell all the black people and the hip hop culture that, well, Nikki is nominated in the rap category. She's, no she's nominated in the rap category for Do We Have a Problem? She's nominated in the rap category for Blick Blick. By the way, these are not nominations, y'all. So this is another way that they're gaslighting y'all. These are not nominations. These are songs that record companies submit to be a nomination, okay? I was talking about Super Freaky Girl, yet the Grammys have not responded about Super Freaky Girl. They've only gaslit y'all into directing your attention to, do we have a problem? What does Do We Have a Problem have to do with Super Freaky Girl? I'll say that again. What does Do We Have a Problem have to do with Super Freaky Girl? The answer is nothing. So I go on there and there are women saying, oh yeah, well, she begged. She, she made a big deal, so they just gave it to I know y'all not talking about the best of all time, Nicki Minaj. I know y'all not thinking I'm, I give a Who peed in a Grammy? Like, who spoke against the Grammy many times? So many men have, you know, whether it was uh, Kanye, whether it was Drake, who said, no, why are you putting Hotline Bling in a rap category? And they still continue to nominate him. No one said anything mean or bad. He stood up for what he believed in, and he was right. He took the right stance, you know? Um, because he's like, why would you put me in a rap category and take away an award from rappers when Hotline Bling is not a rap song, right? So moral of the story is this. They just gaslit my fans, Mac into telling them, well, she is, uh, do we have a problem is in the rap category. So, um, yeah. So, therefore, we're supposed to say, forget about the, the reason she spoke about this at all. And let's just say, oh, thanks for putting, for calling, do we have a problem rap Grammys? Thank you. Like, Y'all, come on, we gotta start acting smarter. We have to start reading to understand and to comprehend. So shout out to the people that were so happy thinking that this, was, that this meant that they did something nice after I spoke about it. But listen to the word that they used on the blog. It looks like the stunt may have worked. It looks like the stunt may have gotten their attention. That is a blatant lie. Cause those, do we have a problem was always in the rap category. That's wild. So do you see the gaslighting that's going on instead of just addressing what's at hand? And, and, as, and, and imagine an urban blog saying something about pulling a stunt. So that means the weekend pulled a stunt last year when he spoke out. That means 
all of these artists that have spoken about what you know what they believe that they are do based on their talent that means they're all pulling stunts so that means listen to this if you work a nine to five or any other job in the world and you speak out about years of unfairness that everyone can see this is a this is one of those words they can use to make you feel like oh let me shut up let me not speak a stunt a stunt after oh. all these male rappers and all of these people have spoken they've called me pulling a stunt and still haven't addressed the issue at hand and the issue at hand was super freaky girl sampled Rick James and guess what when MC Hammer, MC huh? Hammer sampled it guess right. what category it was in ding 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 rap hip hop what it, and and they can't say it's because the song it became so big. MC Hammer's song wasn't huge. It wasn't a huge song. Huge. Huge. But that went in the rap category. Again, please, I am not talking about this cuz I give a shit anymore. I'm talking about this because they're now making urban blogs post this 3-4 day old article again gaslighting and attacking i wasn't paying no mind to this craziness i was having a good old motherfucking day i hope i ain't fuck it up you hear me i got some text <laughs> from some no but i'm people. glad you told me so I, th I, th I thought it was getting rectified i gotta go back when we get off and send some more so texts. look all the, listen listen to how the the internet and the world made this shit into something huge the only thing I said was, if Super Freaky Girl is pop, then so is Big Energy. And that's the truth, because they are the same vibes. Anybody with a, an, a brain and some ears can tell. The point that the Grammys don't want you guys to focus on is that they've un barely moved super freaky girl to pop so that I won't be in competition with the people who they want to win in the rap category. Like, do you, do you guys see how simple it is? It's not a big, huge thing to understand. And nobody, like, I don't even care that much, you know? But why are y'all going so hard not to simply address the simple issue. The simple issue is, if Super Freaky Girl is pop, then Big Energy is pop. So they shifted your focus now to do we have a problem being nominated in rap categories? And saying it looks like the stunt, the stunt Nicki Minaj pulled might have paid off. I've never seen this level of blatant, outright gaslighting and attacking. Oh my God. Canvas underscore creations 19 says, but why address it if you don't care? Can you believe some people are this fucking dumb? I just explained that. I just explained that. Dumb, dumb. Common sense, not common. Can't, Clearly. Can't everything, my love. So look, by the way, you know Troy Carter, who he uh, managed Gaga for years. Yeah, I know, I know Troy. And yeah, I'm t for them who don't know. And then he worked at Spotify for years. Mm -hmm. He even tweeted about it and said, this is absolutely crazy. Notice how none of those were huge figures in the industry notice how that's not ending up on blogs the brat spoke on it i saw that uh, um the the funky deneva person i was trying to see if i had his uh instagram 
Um, I don't, I couldn't find his IG name. He spoke on it. Um, many people have spoken on it, but that's not on blogs. And I also found out something recently I didn't know, which is how many people pay blogs to post the, dumb, the dumbest shit. So if you're getting, if you're going back and forth with somebody, they'll post a blog to only post the things that make them look good and that's going to get the other person dragged. But I don't really be on it like that, paying attention, so I don't be finding out until days later. But again, let me make this clear. All I said was, when MC Hammer sampled Super Freak by Rick James, his song was put in the rap category. What has changed? I've rapped, I've rapped on both verses. It's the same sample. So why is my song pop? And why force blogs to post this nonsense? To try to steer their attention into the other way and make them think that y'all did right by me. When y'all know that you didn't address what I asked you in the first place. So we don't, it's not even this serious to be doing all of this industry shit, all of this industry politics. If y'all wasn't going to address it, you didn't have to, but to do this gaslighting shit, it's weird. It's weird. So no, Mac, to answer your question that you hit me about, you said, you know, congratulations. It looks, I, I heard they did the right thing. You know, somebody told me that they, they did the right thing by you. No, they haven't. They know why they don't want Super Freaky Girl in the rap category. So, you know, when I'm not putting out music, it's easier for them to pick and choose who they want to give awards to. But once, cool. once I start gearing up, and I start doing my thing. And here's the other thing I would say. If you that bitch, you, you don't need somebody else to be out the picture for you to shine. Like, my talent speaks for itself. I don't care what other girls are rapping. I don't care what other girls are in the category. So if you knowingly sit by and see some shit like this happening and pretend that it's okay, that just means that you are intimidated by having competition in the same category, not me. We just want it to be fair. Everybody with a pair of ears knows. And again, I don't care about this. I'm responding because the Grammys put this article out in Variety and they're putting it out for you guys to think that this has been rectified and it hasn't been rectified, okay? It hasn't been rectified. Now you got urban blogs using this variety article saying it looks like Nikki's stunt. So that means when, when you're in the workforce, ladies, and you, are, and you are excelling above your peers and you're doing a great job, you're not allowed to speak up for yourself. But you know what it, what's funny, Mac? I remember when I was discussing the fact that streams weren't being counted. Tay Tay Mula just got on my live to say, we still on this, ha ha ha. I could tell you're uh, one of the slow ones. You're one of the slow ones too. <laughs> we are not on anything. This is my job. I would never come to your job and say, oh, bitch, you still on this? Because I don't know what you've gone through at your job. Okay. So, yeah. So, dear Grammys, you don't have to keep on putting out articles pretending you're addressing something when you're not. Let it go. Leave it alone. I left it alone. Okay. Shout out to my baby. Shout out to my bars. Y'all been having me cracking up laughing with a lot of your, um, with your posts. But, oh, no, you know what's so funny, Mac? Why the, you remember when I was going hard saying that streams should count towards Billboard because for so long, 
our music was being stolen or, mm -hmm. or streamed and it wasn't being counted on Billboard. Now, if you look at the new rappers, they're really surviving by streams. But mm -hmm. when I was talking about it, when I was talking about it back then, people were saying the same kind of shit. Oh, she's crying. She's complaining. But your favorite artist is now benefiting from all of that crying and complaining I did, huh? Because what would happen if they took away the streams from your favorite artist now? You know how many albums they'd be selling? They'd be selling about 11 albums, five to six albums. But it was ahead of your time, Nick. Always. But isn't it funny? Even when people come out and blatantly lie on me, and, and then everybody find, finds out they lied on me, look, look at how quickly they, they bypass that. They quickly bypass that someone just blatantly said I said things that I never said. They quickly, but now you are, but now Grammys is, is again trying to spear this conversation in another direction. Having people that actually support me feel happy. We just want y'all to address why y'all moving Super Freaky Girl out the rap category and not other songs that are just as pop as Super Freaky Girl. That's the only question we had, Chad. That is the only question only Katanya had. <laughs> I mean, like, girl, girl, we is tired. At Jenner Doll underscore underscore. You look tired, bitch. <laughs> you look tired, bitch. <laughs> bitch, you look tired, bitch. It's 9 o'clock and now you on another video <laughs> talking about you tired. You don't got a bed at your house, bitch. <laughs> the fuck? Nick, you cut up bad, bro. Damn. Like, it be the same people talking about me nonstop just to say they tired. Ho! That's crazy. I ain't never talk about nobody I was tired of on a social media platform. <laughs> Go and clean your tired pussy. <laughs> your pussy game tired, bitch. <sighs> your big hole is tired, bitch. <laughs> your throat is tired, bitch. Why are you so fucking crazy, Nick? <sighs> You don't spend Your nothing, asshole man. is tired, ho. <laughs> <laughs> you don't spend nothing, man. It's just like I'm talking to my audience, my fans, the president at my label, and you over here talking about how tired your funky ass is. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> You crazy, bro. You fucked me up. Like, there, what the? Like anyway, so. <laughs> so. Pop that, man. He sleep. Huh? Pop, 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 pop. Yeah. 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 But the thing is, he's been going to bed later and later. But I ain't gonna lie. I actually prefer it because um, that means he don't he don't get up as late. It's like he heard you say his name, uh, Matt. He man, just got his name. was him up. Huh? I heard that. That was yes. That. That's, wow. What's up, Pop? Anytime he hear, anytime oh. he hear my voice, it's like he feel like he gotta, you know, make sure everything good. Yeah, like, he should. He, but Mackie, he's such a little man. When I tell you the boy, think he a grown man. I never, I never. Hi, Tasha Cobbs, Leonard. Please pray for me, Tasha. And if I said bad words, please, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, Soldier Boy. Soldier boy. July 28th, baby. Who? We got the same birthday. That's a mess. I should. Me and Soldier. One second. I'm on live. I'm on live. Give me two minutes, please. Um. Okay. So, Mac, that's all I was trying to say. I don't, y'all, we don't got to never talk about this again, but we don't have to do the, they playing, you know, the internet games, Mac. 
Right. No, I'm about That's to go just... holler. You know, I got to holler. I got to go holler at a few people. But, I mean, you deserve your flowers. You deserve your accolades. You deserve, you know, you deserve fairness. You know what I'm saying? You work that, hard. That... Thank that you work cool. hard, oh, and if, and if something like that, if they got it wrong, then at least give me a, a, a reasonable explanation. I get it, but please stop beefing. I love you. Please, <laughs> you know I don't like when you beef. I'm not, and I was I having just don't want you to beef. What? I love you. I don't like when you beef. I, I'm Mackie. I'm not beefing. All right. I and I'm from New York. Everything I say sounds like I'm beefing. And I'm not. All right. <laughs> I love you, bro. Regardless, I love you. I'm I with you, you regardless. Bye. But I just, I like, you know, nice Nikki. Papa Bear Mama Nikki. That's the Nikki, you know, that I prefer. But I love you, though. No more beef, please. Pescatarian, vegetarian. Wait, who is that? Who is that? Let me see. Who is this? Is that the real uh young boy? Don't make me uh click on that, and that ain't the real young boy either. Um, I don't know his page. Okay, Mac, I love you dearly, but Mac, as a as a black man, a black mm -hmm. man who I respect, mm -hmm. you can't say things like that when you hear a queen speaking, and you use the word beefing. It. No, no, nah, I'm not talking about nothing with the grammars or nothing. No, but I, but, but even when you use that word, Mackie, a disagreement. You can't. Can I use disagreements? No, that's another bad word. Well, what word can I use? Something behind the scenes. I just don't like seeing you mad. Can I say the, oh, that? I, I rebuke it in Jesus' name. That's a bad word to speak. To mad? say yes, cause I am not mad, Mackie. No, I'm not even. You know, what I'm, I'm sure. No, about. I'm just telling you because you have to use the. But you know why? Because I know you and you know me, so you know I I know how much you love me and you know how much I love you. But when the public people they use these words, not just with me, but with a lot of women who speak on things. They use certain words, so automatically it makes the people, before they can even hear the person out, it makes them shut them out. And one thing that you said that that's this, just the truest shit, all I want is fairness. I don't ever, like, I'm going to go hard every time. When somebody sends me a verse for them, I go hard. I just want, I just go hard because I believe in going hard. Of Sometimes course. I get paid for verses and I could just not care and say the first thing that comes to my mind. I'm not going to do that to, to anybody because I have to put my all in this rap shit. This is my passion. There's a difference between waking up one day and lucking up, lucking up upon rap versus being great at it and having passion about it. All right, so Mac, I'm going to let you go. You know how much I love you. Um, but I'm going to keep you posted. So te Mac, text me tomorrow. I'm going to text you tomorrow. All right, I'm tell Papa you. Bear. I said, what's happening? You heard me? I will. And give oh. my love to your son, too. Of course. Okay? Love, Mac. All right, let me Yeah. So who's on you guys? And y'all know Mac is my brother. Like, one thing about Mac, he going to ride, 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 ride. No, who's this? Oh. How long is it taking Mac to hang up? <laughs> Mac, get up. Mac, um, thank you, Foz underscore Eli. Mac, how long is it taking you to get up to, to hang up? How do can I do it for him, y'all? So do y'all understand what I was saying, y'all? That for people who wanna know why I why I've been explaining myself. Um, I know my fans know this, but you guys might not know this. Is that um hmm. So, oh, maybe is that how I can do it? X him? I'm trying to X Mac, but he's, his screen is still there, y'all. What should I do? 
so y'all y'all um and so nunu i tried to add you but i they won't let me Oh my God! Is Mac Mac? I know you. You ain't high as you Mac. Hang up. Mm, remove, remove from my. Okay, so, oh, I almost just removed this this person. Um. It won't let me, no, no. I tried to. Oh, his name is there, but the screen is all me, really? Hmm. I know you guys are saying he's out, but I still see a, a half screen thing. Okay, anyways, what I, was, what I was saying is one thing about Mac, he rides for me behind the scenes just as much as, you know what I'm saying, in front of the camera. So, so he, and you know, he's a very genuine, and I love him. So it's always going to be him, you know what I'm saying, over everything. But, um, all right, they told me to start the live over. Okay, let me try. <laughs> 